Hey everyone, since the new Fantastic Beasts movie is coming out in a few weeks, I figured I'd fill the time by doing some new nail designs. The first tutorial I did was for this Credence-inspired Manny. As with all my designs, I started out by applying a base coat and polish to all of my nails. I ended up using a pale blue shimmer polish from Blue Eyed Girl Lacquer called Fianto Dury because it fit the Harry Potter theme, but any light colored polish will work as the base for this. I then applied a top coat to my nails and allowed it to dry before moving on. I decided to add some smoke in the background to make it look like Credence was transforming into an Obscurus, so I used a detail brush to add lines of black polish to my nails. While the black was still wet, I used a flat brush dipped in acetone to begin dissolving the black, repeating the process until it looked like smoke. Once I had finished the smoke, I moved on to creating my decal of Credence. I started by applying a top coat to my silicone mat, but this design can also be done straight on your nails. After the top coat had dried, I used a detail brush and light gray acrylic paint to draw an outline of Credence's face. I then added the base colors for the rest of the image, white and black for his clothing and black for his hair. I allowed the base colors to dry and then went back over them, this time adding shadows and highlights. For Credence's skin, I used a slightly darker gray around his hairline and the left side of his face. I then gradually blended darker shades of gray as I moved closer to his ear. I also added some shadowing to areas around his eyes and used white to add highlights to his chin and forehead. I then began adding the facial features. I started with the mouth, outlining the shape with a dark gray before adding some black and a lighter gray. I then outlined the nose with a medium gray and added dark shadows to one side while also adding some lighter highlights. For the eyes, I blended some darker gray into the background to provide an outline and filled it in with white to make it look like the eyes were glowing. I then added some shadowing around the edges of the eyes and painted a few bottom eyelashes. I used black to draw the eyebrows before moving on to detailing the hair. I just blended some white and light gray in with the black base to show where light would reflect off the hair. I then added some light gray to the collar of Credence's shirt and painted his tie with black. I also added some highlighting to the black of his tie and shirt. To finish my decal, I used dark gray and black to paint tendrils of smoke curling around one side of Credence's face to help the decal blend in better with the smoke background. I used an orange stick to gently remove the decal from my mat and trimmed it. I then applied a top coat to my middle nail and used a clear stamper to apply the decal to the wet polish. The stamper helps to smooth out any air bubbles underneath the decal, but you can also place the decal by hand. Using a cotton swab dipped in acetone, I dissolved the excess decal before sealing all of my nails with a satin top coat. I hope you all liked this Credence inspired nail art and leave a comment letting me know what other Fantastic Beast designs you'd like to see me do. You can also check out my Fantastic Beast playlist to see all the previous manis I've painted.